All right, now let's move over uh, to Mozambique, where the former Labour Minister Maria Helena Taipo has been sentenced to 16 years in prison for corruption charges involving the diversion of more than $1.7 million from government funds. Maria Helena Taipo, 60, a member of the ruling Frelimo Party who led the Labour Ministry from 2005 to 2014, was accused of embezzling 113 million medicals, that's $1.7 million, in government funds to build a house and to cover other personal expenses. Well, she was sentenced with uh, all the government officials and the defendants were charged with crimes of embezzlement, breach of uh, trust, abuse of power, economic participation in business and forgery of documents. Oh. <laughs> it's it's, uh, <laughs> it's no very way. interesting, you know, but, you know, for me, you know, one positive part of this is, you know, the fact that, you know, she has been, you know, found guilty. She's been sentenced to 16 years in prison. And, you know, we hope that, you know, it's also a, uh, um, you know, a victory in the fight against corruption in Mozambique, you know, and, you know, it also, you know, curtails, you know, the the uh, uh, stealing, you know, of the country's resources and, you know, lets people know that the country that you will be caught and you will be jailed. And, and there are two aspects to it, not just that she's been found out or she's been caught, but even, you know, the fact that regardless of the time, you know, that big justice will be seen to be done, especially yeah. because we see, we, what we find is that a lot of, people in Africa do not have a lot of hope. We don't express hope in our government, in the judicial, judiciary, because we think that those at the helm of affairs, those in power, are sort of immune from being mm -hmm. brought before the court of competent jurisdiction and dancing to the tune that they have played. So yeah. it's quite, I think this is great in the fight against corruption and that more corrupt ministers around the continent will be caught and imprisoned for many years, I, flushed I, I out. Completely agree. You know, you know, all the countries need to borrow relief from what Mozambique has been able to do. Um, you know, we probably need to read up more, you know, on the fight against corruption and where it currently is and how well they are doing, you know, before we use them as a perfect example. But um, other countries need to borrow relief, you know. Unfortunately, a lot of times, you know, when you are extremely wealthy from stolen government funds, you seem to be able to buy your way out of, you know, a sentence and out of justice. Or you go buy, um, get yourself another passport, buy your citizenship yeah. in another country and quickly run away that before can, they that, can that sentence you in absentia. But yeah, congrats to Mozambique and we do look forward to seeing justice being meted out to as many who are so deserving of what, you know, this kind of justice. That's all that we can take this morning. Of course, we have more top stories coming your way at the second hour. But for now, we're going to break and when we return, it will be time for sport.